and happy because the life of my girl will change. She will be pretty. <laughs> she will be beautiful. She was normal till um, two months. The injury beginning to grow up, grow up and grow up. Toddler Jury Tarry is now almost three years old and has a large growth on her mouth. It's believed to be a hemangioma, a kind of benign tumour. She suffers a lot and she called in age. So it's hard for me and for her. After travelling with her mother Noura from Morocco to New York, she's going to have an operation which could allow her to smile properly for the very first time. People don't respect. They don't respect the emotion of others, the feeling of others. If I send her in the school, she will find the same problem. She will feel the same feeling who I feel now with the people. For that reason, I start to, to find solution for my baby. Noura researched her daughter's condition online and six months ago made contact with Linda Rosell Shannon who runs the Vascular Birthmarks Foundation. We receive about 4,000 referrals a year from around the world. About 90% of the patients find the foundation through Facebook. I currently monitor 12 different Facebook groups of various vascular birthmark types and parents post every day asking for help and that's how I met the mother from Morocco. She posted asking if anyone could help her daughter receive treatment. So are you ready for this? Okay. Yeah. All right, she'll yeah. do fine. The Vascular Birthmarks Foundation then contacted Dr. Milton Weiner and the New York-based Little Babyface Foundation. My feeling is that every child has the right to look normal. And if a child is disfigured and the disfigurement is due to a vascular malformation, then my job is to fix it up, regardless of whether they can pay or not. We'll always find a way to, to help, and that's what we do. I don't think there's any way you can, you can almost measure uh, how it affects these families. We're just uh, blessed that the Foundation's here and has the opportunity to take care of these kids. Today, Dr. Weiner and his team will be attempting to remove Juris hemangioma. She will be pretty, she will be beautiful, so... I know that my girl is beautiful, but uh, with chirurgy, more beautiful. I have all the motion here, <laughs> the melange of the motion. So I'm scared, I'm happy because I found all these people help me. The operation went well, and a week later, Jury has follow up appointments to see how successful it's been. The first time when I saw her after yeah. the chirurgy, I was yeah. excited, I was scared, yeah. I was happy. All the feeling yeah. was here. Everything looks good. Thank you very so much. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy too, and thank you very much. Jury had actually a venous malformation. We initially thought it was a hemangioma, but it turned out to be a venous malformation. And it involved most of the muscle of her upper lip, her upper hemilip, and it went through from the inner lining, the mucosa, to skin. So it was very, very extensive. The venous malformation, if it had been left untreated, could have led to potentially fatal bleeding. But now, Jury's recovery can begin. This is a process. This is not healed, and this is not the final result. The result is gonna take six months to a year from now. But I know what she went through, I know what you've gone through, but I also know the opportunities that we've had here, and I think it's incredible. I think Wayner and his team, and the Little Baby Face Foundation, it's a blessing for you and for your family. So, you're going home tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. And how are we going to keep in touch with you? You're going to Skype with us, or are you going to email us, or what are you going to do? By, by, by face. There is a chance that she may have to come back. The foundation is prepared to handle the children in that way if we need to. This child will be followed. Thank you to the internet and to social media. We'll be able to stay in touch easily. I have no words. 
for me, the foundation, it's a hope for me and a hope for my daughter.